Hi, this is Gilles, the radio prepper here at the uh, Col de Vence uh, once again to test a new antenna from uh, Chameleon, new to me anyway, which is the uh, fan dipole. And here's the main piece here, the, uh, the ballon with, uh, you know, the uh, stainless filling fittings here for the wire and uh, the antenna connection so this is made of looks like a regular you know pvc fitting no need to reinvent the wheel it's well made no complaints about it this will allow to eliminate stray rf currents on the coax shield and uh, this is a fan dipole so it's for two bands 20 and 40 meters which means that you have you know two wires per band so four wires total four quarter wave wires so here are two winders one for uh, 40 meters so there are about uh, 10 meters of wire here on this winder which is connected here to the other winder which has you know half that length so 20 meter band half wave is uh, 10 meters so quarter wave is uh, five meters and here they are connected in the center you have the rings here for a stress relief the wires are clamped a very good quality wire as usual for a chameleon and you have the connector here which is going to be connected to the ballon and of course we have two pairs total so the dipole i'm going to deploy it and uh, install it in a, a cross pattern and that will also help uh, you know uh, actually stay the mast like uh, guy wires but uh, I'm going to use my uh, adapter that I uh, uh, 3D printed for this task here for the mast for the spider beam 12 meters. And uh, here it is. You'll find it on Thingiverse. I'll put the link down in the description down below. So the uh, balloon will be attached like this, like so on the mast. And the wires will connect here. So one pair of wires on this side and one pair of wires on this side so on this side there will be a uh, 10 meter wire and a 5 meter wire same thing on the other side in a cross pattern i think this uh, little bush here will uh, work and i'm not too far from uh, our base of operation here so i'm gonna put the spider beam right there so here it is uh, ready to go up i have the uh, balloon here the connection here i put the rings on top I uh, took this ring off and uh, put the uh, plastic rings for the uh, for the wires here so that's a stress relief of course the, uh, the wires are connected here together to the balloon right there on one side and same thing on the other side the antenna comes with this uh, these nifty little uh, rubber bands there are four of them so i'm using this to uh, secure the uh, balloon to the mast i'm not quite sure what <laughs> what the other ones are for but uh, of course i'm using my uh, adapter here that you'll find on thingiverse and now what i have to do is to spread uh, take those uh, wires off the winders and spread uh, spread them in a cross pattern making sure that uh, the wires of the same length are um, you know in the same line basically the wires have this uh, bungee cord uh, built in which is pretty cool uh, so you can uh, you know the wires can stay on and i'm just going to unwind them whoop, and spread them out the wire also goes through the winder so that's a good thing because you're never going to lose your winder So it's a uh, <laughs> it's a bit a uh, it's a bit of a mess, but uh, once we spread the wires, uh, it's going to be much neater, and uh, the wires are going to help uh, holding the mast uh, straight. Jeremy is taking care of the uh, long wire for 40 meters, and I'll get uh, the one on the other side. <laughs> so I attach one side here to uh, the uh, door of my truck, it goes right over there to the mast, which is uh, yeah pretty straight now. Uh, Jeremy is uh, tying it up uh, over there and uh, now I'm going to spread the uh, 20 meter wire. 
and the antenna is up with the uh, four wires uh, forming a cross. Uh, two of them are a little twisted uh, on the top there, but I don't think that will be uh, much of a problem. Hopefully, and uh, yeah, it's not the easiest antenna to install uh, alone. Definitely better as a two-man job, but uh, you could do it alone, but it's easier with a buddy. I'll put the uh, analyzer to it. Uh, you won't see the screen because of the sun, but uh, I'll show you the graphs. I first scan from 3 to 19 megahertz. You can clearly see the two dips here, which is great. Uh, almost one to one, uh, right above 7 megahertz. Of course, the resolution doesn't allow us to see the exact frequency. And about 1.3 to one, but around 15 megahertz, so outside of the 20 meter band. Now remember, <laughs> those wires are crossed on top of the mast, twisted together. So uh, I'll get back to that. Then I scanned the 20 meter band and indeed it was way off. Same thing here on the 40 meter band, but uh, really uh, you can see the SWR goes down to uh, just about 1 to 1, uh, around 7.27 megahertz. But uh, I knew at this point that I had to take the mast down and untwist the wires. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, you'll see what happened then. And uh, Bob's your uncle, <laughs> and almost uh, perfect SWR on the uh, 40 meter band. Pretty decent on the uh, 20 meter band as well, although the lowest point is around 14.5 megahertz. But uh, I suspect that the fact that the uh, wires were at a very sharp angle, like a very sharp inverted V, uh, that uh, you know increased the SWR a bit. Uh, probably if the wires were a little bit higher, uh, it would be uh, just fine like the 40 meter band. Here we see 1.1 to 1 SWR on 7150, and of course uh, it could hardly be any better than that. So with this antenna, don't cross the wires, don't cross the beams. <laughs> Very good uh, SWR now, so uh, no problem, I'm going to operate on, uh, of course, on 20 and 40 meters, that's the band the antenna is designed for. I brought my uh, Xigu G1M, I wanted to bring my uh, Minion SDR, but uh, I have a problem with the BNC. Uh, the BNC, I have to change it. It's, there's bad contact or something, maybe the solder, I'm not sure. But uh, so I, I didn't bring the Minion SDR, so that will be for next time. But I have 20 and 40 meters on this radio, so let's try that. And it's 5 watts. So if I can make a contact with 5 watts, it means it's a good antenna. And I know it's a good antenna because, of course, it's just a dipole. <laughs> so, but it's well made. The wire is good quality. Uh, the ballon uh, seems to be well made as well. I didn't look inside, so I don't know. I would have to break it for that, which I'm not going to do. Uh, but uh, let's give it a shot and see how it works. Sure seems to receive pretty well. It sounds like Russian. Contest, huh? Yankee Lima 3, Canada, Washington. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Seeky Asia, all Asia contest. Oh, Yankee wow. Lima 3, Canada, Not in Asia. <laughs> Yankee Lima 3. Seeky, Seeky, Japan, United Yankee 5, Zulu, Zulu. Uniform Yankee 5, Zebra. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Uh, whiskey is a whiskey. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Uh, bravo, Yankee, the Bravo, Yankee. Sorry, from QM right now. Please thank you, over. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Uh, the Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Merci, thank you for the call. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, you're not from Malaysia. But uh, let's try uh, the linkage here, so uh, 5 and 9 to you. Good afternoon, 5 and 9, and my name is Paul, Papa Alpha Uniform Lima, F4WGY, you're 60, over. 
Thank you very much, your 5'8 here. Uh, I just wanted to say hi and wish you a good luck for the contest. Have a great day. This is uh, Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo, Yankee Operator Gilles, Golf India Lima, operating QRP portable here in the mountains. Uh, QSL? Okay, uh, how many watts in your QRP? Over? Here, 5 watts, uh, 5 watts in the south of France uh, in a dipole. Oh my god, 5 and 9 at this meter. 5 and 9 with your 5 watts and dipole. Greatly, congrats. Thank you for contact, Juan, and keep you good luck. My call is United Whiskey 6 uh, Echo, Uniform Whiskey 6 Echo. It's a call sign for contest. And uh, usually I'm using the United Radio 6 Echo Alpha. Okay. United Radio 6 Echo Alpha, and it's a call for everyday QSO. Especially for contesting, I have a United Whiskey 6 Echo. By the way, just a story. Thank you, 73, good luck. For WBY, your 60. Merci beaucoup and have a great day. Uh, goodbye, Fox 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, over and out. A great contact here, 5 watts, he couldn't believe it, but hey, it works. Well, I'm going to go check on uh, 40 meters because uh, obviously it works fine on 20 meters. I mean, it's a dipole. <laughs> we know dipoles work really well. And by the way, I'm going to share a little secret with you and you might be shocked. <laughs> This is the first time in my life that I try a dipole, a, a real dipole. I've tried off-center fed dipoles. I never tried a regular dipole in nine years of being a ham radio operator. So <laughs> there we go. Whiskey, bravo, Yankee. Whiskey, bravo, Yankee. Oui, c'est Gilles, Gilles, Golf India Lima, Golf India Lima, Golf India Lima. L'indicatif, c'est F4, Whisky, Bravo, Yankee. Whisky, Bravo, Yankee. Voilà, n'oubliez pas le whisky. Hein. Whisky, Bravo, Yankee. Euh, en QRP, 5 watts, QRP, 5 watts, 5 watts, QSL. Oui, bien reçu pour le QRP, 5 watts, et bien pour 5 watts, ça passe. Oui Dominique, correct, correct, c'est bien ça, F4 Whisky, bravo Yankee, merci encore et bon dimanche, à bientôt. Thank you very much. Uh, you are 5'8", here 5'8", in the uh, south of France, uh, north of the town of uh, Nice, uh, north of Nice in the mountains. Altitude is uh, 900 uh, meters. Here at the uh, Col de Vence, so uh, portable operations, QRP 5 watts, with a dipole antenna, you have a good signal, so thank you very much. Uh, back to you. Thank you very much and uh, yeah, it's a great day to be in the mountains. It's better to be here than uh, home watching television. <laughs> so thanks again, have a great day and uh, good luck with the, uh, the DX. Uh, from uh, Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Back to you. Merci, au revoir, 
I could, of course, uh, you know, try to make contacts like that uh, all day, but uh, you know, it's 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 working basically. Uh, Performance-wise, no surprise because well, it's just a dipole, and uh, we all know that dipoles work really well. Uh, this one, of course, has the bonus to uh, that uh, it offers you two bands, 40 and 20 meters. And uh, I like to set it up in a in a cross pattern, like the uh, military antenna. There's a military antenna that uh, is about the same, and uh, it's also in a cross pattern. And uh, it's for mainly used for NVIS, uh, near vertical incident skywave, which I think this antenna is is made for that also, because uh, 40 meters is a great band for NVIS, where your signal is uh, shot up uh, basically uh, straight up and uh, refracts at a high angle and goes, comes back down, uh, covers a wide regional area. And that's what this antenna is good for. I consider 20 meters to be a bonus. It has the advantage to give you two bands, an, a day band and a night band. And I think that's important for prepping to have a day band and a night band. So I would consider this antenna as a very good camp antenna. Not so much uh, for portable operations as something you wanted to set up quickly because it's not <laughs> it's not very good for that. It took me some time to untangle the wires and make sure that everything was ship shape. So it's not an antenna that you're going to uh, prop up for you know uh, uh, 30 minutes of operation that it's not worth the effort. Um, it's not an unfed half wave where you just put up your mast and you're done. But uh, for a camp situation or, you know, uh, at your home, uh, for a, uh, even a permanent situation, a permanent installation, it would be a good antenna. So I would not hesitate to use it for that. Uh, whether you want to pay the price or not, that's up to you. You know, uh, nobody forces you to get it. <laughs> but uh, it's certainly durable. It's strong. Uh, you know, it's well built. Uh, that's all I can say. And uh, I certainly will you probably you know I'm certain uh, use it again when I'm set up for uh, you know like uh, camping or something that I'm going to stay uh, a couple days two or three days or more I would definitely take it with me and use it for that especially to cover uh, regional communications what I would have liked uh, for the price is a pouch to put the antenna in you know so uh, that would have been great maybe chameleon will listen and uh, add one to the pack and uh, that's what I have to say about that so You'll have a good one.